I have a word for you, and the word is cross over to the other side. But with, before we go into that word that I have for you, I, I welcome everybody to this channel, and uh, whether it's in the morning in your country or at night, you are all welcome. And um, this is a place where we uh, share God's word and we come to listen to the true word of God. And um, if you're new to this channel, I welcome you. Uh, I kindly request you to subscribe to this channel and uh, go ahead and press the notification bell so that you may receive uh, the first video that I upload and um, uh, go ahead to like and share this video with somebody else uh, to somebody who's feeling down to somebody who feels like uh, the world is crashing down on him uh, you may never know what people are going through sometimes when you look at somebody you may think all is going well so, because some the smile behind that smile there's somebody who's weeping Behind that laughter, there's somebody who's crying. So instead of assuming that people are going through, uh, everything, is going through everything is going well for somebody, it is better to bless somebody. If you have something, bless somebody. Uh, tell them and let them know that God loves them. Now, crossover to the other side is the word that I have for you. And uh, in many occasions, uh, you have to cross over to the other side. Uh, I'm talking about uh, places where you have been and there is pain and there is uh, some kind of stagnation and there is, it seems as though you are not moving. It seems as though you are looking at things that are dangerous, things that are, that, that are tormenting you. God wants you to leave that area, to leave that place of pain and cross over to the other side. Because listen, you may never get your victory. You may never become victorious if you are in one place. Because maybe your enemy is not meant to fall down in that area. Maybe that is not the place your enemy could be destroyed. Maybe if you cross over, if you decide to ac truly accept God, to truly accept your calling, then a breakthrough will come in your life. Look at the children of Israel. When Moses had, when God had told Moses to go and speak to Pharaoh, Pharaoh had hardened his heart and he did not want to let go of the children of Israel. As a matter of fact, there were some people among the children of Israel who didn't, who didn't want to go. They didn't want to leave Egypt. Until Moses had to come and convince them. Until Moses had to come and speak to them that he is sent by God, the God of Israel. But as the way in the journey, as, uh, as the way leaving Egypt, the scriptures say, clearly say that Pharaoh decided to pursue the children of Israel. He did not give up. <laughs> it's amazing that even when you, when you have been delivered, the enemy would not want to let go of you because there is nowhere else he would go. You know? So uh, the scriptures say that, uh, that, that, um, uh, that Moses reached to a place where there was a sea in front of them and uh, it seemed as though they had nowhere to go. Some of you may be in that situation. It seems as though you, you have nowhere to go. There is something in front of you that is obstructing you. So Moses held his rod 
and he struck the sea and the sea was split so they had to cross over but remember behind him pharaoh and his army were coming for them they had not given up so uh, after moses crossing over the sea pharaoh also begins to cross over the sea at that very point where moses had split up the sea then uh, God uh, made the sea to come back to its natural form. And for those that read the story, you know that Pharaoh and his army drowned in the sea. They perished in the sea. That was the point of their destruction. It was not in Egypt. It was not in the wilderness. You understand what I'm trying to say? They had to cross over to the other side, from the wilderness, from, the, from Egypt, to the other side, to receive their victory over their enemies. Very powerful word. They had to cross over. So sometimes you may not be receiving your victory. You may not have got your uh, deliverance because you are still stagnant in one place. Maybe you are repeating the same prayer over and over again. You are reciting it as a poem. You know? And God is not after such. He wants you to pray in a way that will express your heart in a way that will deliver you. Remember, there is a right way to pray and a wrong way to pray. You would find that many believers are praying in the wrong way. They recite the same words. They keep on repeating the same words over and over again, thinking that in them there is power. The power is in Jesus. You have to have faith. Faith as small as a mustard seed. You can tell the mountain to move and be moved. You can tell a tree to be moved and it will be moved by its roots and be thrown somewhere else. That is the faith we are talking about. So, cross over to the other side. Leave that traditional way of thinking. It is not about tradition. It is not about religion. Because some people have a religious kind of mindset. Focus on Jesus. Obey his words. Read his words. Let his words be in you. And in times of prayer, you will speak his word. It will not, no longer be your own way of thinking, but it will be the thought life of Jesus. So I hope uh, I'm running out of time and uh, I wish I had enough time to speak with you and to talk to you. Uh, I hope this word is uh, a blessing to you and uh, I hope it has uh, clarified and, uh, and helped you out in places where you feel you are down, in places where you feel that you cannot make it. God says, cross over to the other side. Until next time, I leave you with a blessing. Be blessed, brothers and sisters.